everyone, my name is Nicole Granager and I'm a junior nursing, Spanish, and international studies major from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Today we're outside the new Froyland Science Complex to get a look at phase one. Here we go. Beautiful new windows. And inside we go. in the new biology wing, passing some new classitories, a classroom and laboratory where students can learn and apply their knowledge all at the same time. And in we go into the new genetics lab. The genetics program is a new program here at Augustana. We're partnering with Stanford's Imaginetics program and it's gonna be awesome. And here, this is my favorite part, this is going to be a place for exciting, hands-on, undergraduate research here at Augustana. All down the hallway, students have a great chance to take advantage of the study bar, and these are all throughout the building, which is really great. Finally, at the end of the hallway is a mechanical room full of glamorous, high-tech equipment that's going to help save the environment one day, so recycle. Hello! <laughs> And now we're making our way out into the beautiful courtyard, crossing over into the north wing, or as I like to call it, my home away from home for nursing students. We're in the new patient simulation room. It's gonna be even more high tech than before. This is gonna be so cool, I'm so excited. And what's so crazy about this whole transition is how the old and the new meat right here. <laughs> this is awesome. We're walking into one of the active learning classrooms here. This is going to be mind-blowing. All along the wall, there are 16 different spaces where tables will come out from the wall. And then on either side, there's going to be a 55-inch display. Who doesn't want that in their dorm room? let alone in their classroom. It's very high tech for both professors and students. Here we are in the beautiful math learning lab where students will be able to utilize blackboards that will be all along the walls. Right down this hallway you can see is that it leads directly into all the professors' offices again. Great accessibility to professors so that they have their own individual space to continue their research but then also help us with our own learning as well. <laughs> One of my favorite parts is now what we're calling the link. The skywalk that connects the existing structure to the new structure as well. It has a beautiful view out into the courtyard. Fun fact about construction, use a lot of duct tape. <laughs> Here in this space, students will have the opportunity to take advantage of different research opportunities such as laser, dark matter, and nuclear physics. Something that's way above my head, but that those students are gonna love. Or just some really cool dance space. So I'm walking into the second bay area where chemistry research students will be overwhelmed by this beautiful space that they have here. In each bay there are about four different fume hoods where they can complete research on organic LEDs, drug development, among any, many other topics. This is insane! This used to be my anatomy classroom. The size of this is humongous and it's gonna be transformed for student use. There's going to be a giant partition right here that's able to divide this space into two 100-person uh, lecture halls or a giant multi-purpose space as well. I'm standing at what used to be the pendulum here. This is going to be redesigned by our very own Scott Parsons and team into a beautiful new pendulum, mixture of old and new. Thanks for joining me on this tour of the Froyland Science Complex. Can't wait to be here in the spring. See you later.